See great. <laughs> that is fun. Did you know that over 300,000 Americans are turning 65 every month in our country? And with that, Nine News Cheryl Preheim opened Colorado Senior Lobby's 35th Senior Day at the Capitol. So remember, this day is about you, it's for you, it's to appreciate your contributions to the community. We thank you so much for all that you do, and we hope that it is a wonderful day. It's the 2015 legislative session, and we're now in the midst of 15 years of explosive senior growth, but with few plans to deal with it. Let's be smart about what we do. Let's be smart about what we do. We can't just sit back and and assume things will be okay. The key statistic is the population over 80 will double by the year 2030. This year's session brings two new challenges. AARP's Kelly Fritz and Dr. Cog's Rich Murrow are always up to the challenge working on behalf of older adults. Uh, we work very closely with Kelly and all of the folks at AARP uh, as great advocates uh, for older adults in Colorado and um, We've been working on 111033 and a number of other bills uh, to hopefully make lives better for Colorado's older adults. Thanks, everybody. And I just want to say quickly, does everybody know why 1100 is so important, what it funds? The Area Agencies on Aging and Meals on Wheels. One of the things that's going to happen today is just about every legislator is going to come in here and tell you how wonderful they are and what they're doing for older adults in this state. Don't let them get out of here without asking them, do you support House Bill 1100? Leaders like Representative Steve Lebsock and Senator Larry Crowder inspire us all to keep working on behalf of seniors. Anytime you keep someone in their home, not only is it the right thing to do, because that's where we want to live, but it's fiscally responsible. How are we going to care for the seniors with the... With the Impending population that's coming in, we need to be prepared for this. Celebrity guest of the day was Governor John Hickenlooper discussing the perspective needed in moving forward on behalf of older adults. We're going to have about, uh, I think, a little more than $6 million are going to go towards uh, uh, senior services. Uh, a lot of this is making sure that we protect the, the vulnerable, making sure that we uh, are providing access and mobility to people, making sure that they can live longer in, in, in places where they choose, where they can live independently. Now is the time to join Colorado Senior Lobby. Just go to coloradoseniorlobby.org. It's only $30 a year. You help fund the effort to keep seniors at the forefront of Colorado's planning efforts. anything that you didn't get to say? This one was water. We're in a housing crisis. In a housing crisis? Yes, we need affordable, accessible housing. All right, thank you. Yeah, I would like to um, talk about the elephant in the room, which is Tabor. We can talk about funding for roads, for health care, for senior care, but until we address Tabor, it's all for naught. 
the refund that we're going to get, most people will get maybe $15, and that will probably cost $15 to $20 just for the administration cost to send out that check. So we as taxpayers are going to be in the hole for probably $5 for each check. I like to say anything that you didn't get to say or something you feel is really close to you? Well, I just hope that the legislators will uh, pass um, House Bill 1100 and 1033. Gloria Gonzalez, and I'm from Pueblo, Colorado, and I'm here representing with two agencies today. I'm the chairperson for the Pueblo Area Agency on Aging Advisory Board, and I'm also here with our senior pastor from Praise Assembly of God and a couple of other fellow people from the church. And we're here because we're trying to get the seniors involved in a lot of issues that pertain to them, that some of them, they're just not really aware of what's going on and what impact they would have if they went ahead and just voiced their opinion. Hi, my name is Michelle with TV Fit, and I'm here to help seniors improve their health. Um, my business supports older active adults and give uh, exercises, um, Tai Chi, moving for better balance, personal training, and we just had to So I hope to see a lot of you soon. Don't stop moving, and I'm glad to be here. Mm -hmm.